Gold's Law. When a solvent is kept in the open, then the solvent molecules evaporate from the surface of the liquid and an equilibrium is established between the solvent molecules in vapor phase and in liquid phase. The vapors above the liquid solvent create a pressure known as vapor pressure of the solvent. It can be recorded by using a pressure gauge as shown in the animation. When solid solute particles are added to the solvent, then evaporation of this solution takes place. The vapor phase again consists of vapors of the solvent, that is, of water, because the solute is non-volatile. However, the vapor pressure of the solution is found to be less than that of the pure solvent. This occurs because the non-volatile solute molecules occupy certain surface area as shown in the animation. As a result, lesser number of solvent molecules will escape into vapors. Rowold quantitatively studied the relationship between lowering of vapor pressure of solvent on addition of a non-volatile solute and gave Rowold's law according to which the partial vapor pressure of a volatile component in the solution is directly proportional to the mole fraction in it.